Scarring is a very common concern amongst our clients. We have those that are concerned with minor ice pick scars, those with deeper box car scars, stretch marks, and even surgical scars. We also have those that are a bit confused, thinking that a post-inflammatory mark after a pimple is a scar. Today, I'm going to clarify what a scar is and talk about how to treat each one so that you're able to finally make some improvements in your skin. First of all, what is a scar? A scar is an area on your body where an injury has occurred. The skin will have an abnormal formation of connective tissues, which are initially quite thick or pink, but with time will fade to white. These areas can be raised, such as a hypertrophic or keloid scar. A hypertrophic scar is raised, but remains on the exact same site of the injury. A keloid is also raised, but it will extend past the area of injury. So that's the difference. Those that are prone to keloids need to aggressively watch the types of products and acids they use on their skin. A scar can also be a flat or even become an atrophic scar, or that's a depression in the skin, such as an acne ice pick scar or a pockmark after chicken pox. An atrophic scar has damaged collagen tissues. What generally happens is that the inflammation from a large pimple or even a chicken pock in the skin, it destroys the collagen. After it's damaged and the pimple is healed and the inflammation goes down, that top layer of skin ends up adhering to the deeper skin tissues. This then becomes a depression in the skin's texture and it's usually in the shape of a V. Now, a boxcar scar is a combination of several ice pick scars that are very close together and form a larger depression. Then we have our last type of scar, which is really just PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. This is the one that many people will mistake as a scar when it's really just a temporary darkening of the skin due to inflammation. This usually occurs after a pimple has healed. There really isn't a scar as no tissues were actually damaged. The dark skin is just a remnant of inflammation in the skin. It will go away in several months right on its own, but of course there are ways to accelerate that process. So let's get into the business of minimizing these scars. I want to start off with the most common scar we deal with here at Platinum. That's the atrophic scar, mostly ice pick and box car scarring. These are addressed with two products. The first product is a TCA peel. We like to utilize the TCA cross method, which takes a high percentage of TCA and plies it inside of the scar using a wooden pick. We have a full tutorial on this application method that you can follow right here. With lighter skin types, we suggest the 30 TCA be selected. With medium to dark skin types, we suggest the 20% TCA be selected and that the skin be pre-treated with a melanin inhibitor such as our Fade Bright or a hydroquinone for at least two weeks prior to your peel treatment. And then again, every day afterwards. This will help to prevent PIH that can occur with high acid percentage use. We certainly don't want to create new problems as we're addressing old ones. The cross method can be performed one time every five weeks, never more, never rush the process. The healing and tissue regeneration time is just as important as the peel procedure itself. Many people like to address their full face at the same time as a targeted treatment like this. For that, we suggest that they perform their cross method and then after five minutes, they apply a lower percentage of TCA, such as our 13% at one to two layers on their entire face. Now you're smoothing the skin everywhere and even targeting pigmentation and fine lines while you're treating scarring. That's a win-win solution. 
The second product that we recommend to treat atrophic scarring is Dr. Picard's Supercop 2X Cream. This is a very strong tissue regenerator that can be applied one time per day, usually in the evenings because yes, it's this blue to help stimulate quicker regeneration of tissues. Now there isn't any moisture in this cream, so many people love to apply the emu oil on top when they use it. This not only helps with penetration, as emu oil is transdermal, but it's also calming, healing, and hydrating. Another option is our 99% Organic Essentials Healing Blend. Most of our clients use either of these as a healing aid after all of their chemical peels. I like to mix them together. For other facial scarring, such as surgical sites or wounds that have left a mark, the TCA peel at a lower percentage, such as the 13% again, a few layers applied is usually the best option. Follow the peel with a daily application of your Supercop 2X cream. Now, if you don't want to use a chemical peel, that's perfectly fine. What you can do instead is use a daily acid serum such as our Serum 15 or Serum 30 to accomplish the same job, albeit a slower time frame. Most people like to apply the serums in the evening, but you can certainly apply them during the day if you prefer. One time per day is enough to help break down the scar tissues. Then if you wish, you can speed up the process by adding on one of the copper serums or creams into the mix. The cream is the very strongest and there are a couple serums that are a little bit less potent that I'll put right here. For those acne spots that are just post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and not a true scar, I mentioned that they will go away on their own, but generally that takes a few months. There are ways to speed up this process though, so here we go. One, always use a retinoid in the evenings such as our Retinol Molecular Serum, 0.20% is great. What vitamin A can do is speed up the rate at which your skin turns over. It basically stimulates your skin to hyper-regenerate itself. And it will also help to clear out those pores by shedding the inner lining. Now with clear pores, you won't get pimples as often. Now just in case you do get a pimple, you'll find it will heal up super quickly and any residual marks will generally be gone in less than two weeks. Number two, use a melanin inhibitor to help lighten the discoloration. Our Fade Bright has alpha arbutin, kojic acid, and resveratrol to help lighten pigmentation changes in the skin. By applying this two times per day, you put this on prior to any other products, you will see a lightening beginning in about seven to 10 days. If you use this with the retinol, changes will be even quicker. A chemical peel is another option to lighten marks quickly. Salicylic is especially good at treating PIH marks. Our 15% can be used one time every one to two weeks to lighten marks and also control the formation of acne in the first place. An alternative to salicylic is our mandelic acid peel. Choose the 22% if you're sensitive or a teen, or you can bump up to the 40% if you have normal skin tolerance. If you're dealing with a keloid or hypertrophic scar, you will want to stay far away from chemical peels. The best method to help flatten raised scars is by applying silicone sheeting to the area for prolonged lengths of time, such as when you're sleeping at night. Another option we find works well is by using Dr. Picard's Supercop 2X Skin Remodeling Cream again. Copper will not aggravate the area by causing any inflammation, so it will never make the skin worse, which a chemical peel could potentially do. Copper basically works by finding the tissues that are not normal and stimulating them to be broken down by the body and then replaced by normal skin tissues. Alternating this with your silicone sheeting is an excellent method to minimize a scar such as this. What about body scars? There are many scars that are on the body. A stretch mark is a very common scar, as well as general wounding and surgical sites. Just like the face, we can target these aggressively with chemical peels or a bit more gently with daily products. 
It just so happens that the Gentle Daily products are the perfect pre-treatment for any body peels. So let's start here. If you're going to be applying a body peel, we highly recommend you choose one of the following acid products to prep your skin prior to your peel. It will help to thin the layers of dead skin and that will allow your peel to penetrate more evenly when applied. And guess what? That'll give you better results. And you'll also have a treatment that you can do on a daily basis when you're not performing your body peels. One, a daily application of acid would be safe and effective for mild body scarring. We suggest our Triple Treat 25% Acid Body Lotion, one to two dimes per day. Two, Another high percentage of acid that could be applied daily on a scar or to pretreat the skin for a body peel is our Serum 30. This is a little bit stronger than our Triple Treat and comes in a serum base. Apply this one to two times per day on all problem areas. Just stop it for a few days if your skin becomes irritated or too sensitive. Three, the third product for body use is our Dermafix Stretch Mark Contouring Cream. This doesn't have an acid in the cream, but it's still very beneficial for stretch marks due to the high percentage of go-to cola. You can apply this on its own or alternate it with one of these other products that I just mentioned. Now, an aggressive body treatment would be the following. For light skin types, TCA30 can be applied to the scar itself. In the case of a stretch mark, you can just follow the lines with a Q-tip or you can apply the acid all over a larger area. A body peel can be done only one time per month as the skin takes a very long time to shed. With darker skin types, we want to use the lower 20% TCA at one to two layers. We have to be more careful and really think out what could potentially happen. For example, there's always the potential that we're going to cover a large area and it will be lighter than the rest of your skin. This can happen because of the skin becoming darker over the years due to sun damage and tanning. So we may have to cover a much larger area than just the scar if we want the skin to be evenly colored on that body part. Preparing the skin with a melanin inhibitor is mandatory. Dark skin, runs the risk of getting PIH, that post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, when a stronger acid peel is performed. To lessen the risk of getting a dark spot on the area you're treating, apply your Fade Bright, or you could always use Hydroquinone for at least two weeks prior to applying a body peel. After your peel, continue applying your Fade Bright until the skin is healed. If you're planning on performing more peels on the area, definitely Keep up the fade bright daily so your skin is always ready. A quick note here. When you're treating your scars, they can and most likely will look a bit worse at the beginning. With cross, the hole may look red or larger. With a body peel, the fine white scarring could turn a pink or even a red color. This is all okay and perfectly normal. In order to stimulate new tissues, we are purposefully damaging the old scar. This is the only way the body recognizes that it needs to replace that area. Be patient, and in a few days, everything will be calmer, and then again, in a few weeks, things will be looking better. When do I stop? With any of these treatments, you need to just continue on until you feel comfortable with the results. Many people will have to treat an area several times to get a satisfying result. What you will find is generally, after a few treatments, you are positively seeing improvements, and it's just a matter of time before you're happy with your results. Do you still have questions? Reach out to us. We're here to help. Have a great day.